Hey, this is Rick, a Rick from CodeWithIntent.com coming at you with this video. And this is what we're going to be talking about specifically the release of Angular 7 and what you should be planning for and expecting for in this release. So let's get into it. Typically made these videos in the past. I made one for Angular 5, I believe, and then one another one for Angular 6. And these are just kind of my uh, speculative thoughts and ideas here as far as what the project is doing, where it's moving forward, who the team members are, and what you should be expecting for a new release. So I did this for a couple of releases in the past. I'm going to do it here again for Angular 7. Now, right now, it is, it is September 28, 2018. And um, right now I'm just pretty much speculating on when Angular 7 is going to be officially released. I don't know the date. Uh, the team doesn't openly share that date with anyone. And they just pretty much give you a two month window to be able to uh, pretty much do some sort of planning for that day to be actually uh, released. So what I want to do here is I want to go ahead and let you know that um, for, for us specifically, like it's really important for me and my entire team to know when Angular 7 is going to be released because we do a lot of software development. We work with a lot of different projects. Uh, Angular is one of our go-to tools that we use for a lot of our projects. So uh, migration, making sure that the projects are up to date, any security vulnerabilities, working with PWAs, all these ideas and all these concepts that we have to like constantly be aware of uh, for our new projects that we undertake or any uh, new software development projects that we do uh, work on. So it's very important for us to be able to know these release dates but again, the Angular team doesn't share with us what those original you know, dates are. They just share this two window of time frame to be able to say, hey, it's going to happen sometime in these two months, right? So I went ahead and wrote a blog post. You can go ahead and check out. I'll drop you guys a link below so you can go ahead and read it. Uh, but inside this blog post, I talk about a couple things here. So the first, go read the information yourself and make the judgment because I'm not here to do your thinking for you. And if you want me to do that, obviously, you can hear about my thoughts, but I'm not going to hear to tell you like a strict rule of what to think or what to do. So if you wanted to read the information, go over there, read it yourself. Look at the release notes. You can see here there's a link uh, over to the change log on GitHub. And you can actually see the exact bug fixes, the exact features. All of that fun stuff can be found. Again, there's a link below. Click on the link, head over to the blog, and just uh, go over there and actually look at the, the actual change log. So if you want to actually see those, head over there and check those out. And here's the change logs where they talk about the features, the bug fixes, what was actually implemented, what was removed. Again, go over there and check it out. Right now there's uh, 7.0 beta 7, and that was released uh, the 26th, so two days ago as of this recording. Go ahead and check it out. Go, go over there and read it. This is specifically for the release of Angular 7. So again, I'm not sure you know who or when this is actually going to be released or announced, but these would be the guys that would know the official release date. These are the main contributors for the project itself. So if you want to know uh, the exact date, hit up these individuals. They'll probably tell you. And I went ahead and pulled up the dates for Angular 6 as official releases and then the official releases for Angular 7. So you can see here, we go through a beta of from 1 to roughly around 8. And we do about from 0 to 6 for release candidates and then the release, then the actual official release gets uh, sent out. So here, you can see here for Angular 7, we have our, you know, starting in August of 2018, we have our beta zero all the way down to our beta six. And that puts us like right around here. So we're gonna have a candidate here within the next couple of weeks, whether it be here in September or in October. The release candidate is coming, and once the release candidate is released, this is something that we can more count on, uh, actually be able to move forward with something that's gonna be coming down the pipeline. So Angular 7, uh, release candidate is something we can count on. Again, change log, go through here and read and actually see what the breaking changes are, if there is any. If you do a little bit of speculation, right, you guys want you guys are here to know the actual release date of Angular 7. If you do a little bit of speculation here, you can uh, speculate that the whole entire uh, project is going to be released for Angular 7. It's going to be in December 3rd, 2018. This is my speculative date for the official release. But again, again, I'm speculating here. I'm not I'm not in any way involved with the project. I don't commit any source code to the main repository. I don't work at Google. I wanted to let you guys know this is my speculative date as a far as far as Angular 7 being released. I'm going for December 3rd, 2018. If you had a gun to my head and you had to pick a date, that's the date uh, it would be launched. That's going to go ahead and do it here for this video. 
Uh, make sure you drop a comment below this blog post or this video just to let me know what your speculative date is going to be for the official launch of Angular 7. So if you have a date in mind, if you have something you're kind of aiming for, uh, drop a comment below. Let us know why you think it's going to be that date. Let us know how you come up with that date. Again, I'm basing my uh, speculations here for December 3rd based on previous history from the team itself. So if you have a date, drop it down below. I would love to hear your thoughts. I'm out of here. If you have any questions, make sure to reach out. Come to the net.com forward slash question. And as always, I'll talk to you next time.